Good morning everybody. Lovely, beautiful, sunny day here in Northern Finland. Now I've got a Icon Mar 71E I purchased a little while ago. This was an absolute bargain. I only paid 150 euros for this and it's in lovely condition. Untouched, um, really lovely radio. I think, I think these are absolutely superb to be honest. Very, very good receivers and I would rate this very, very highly as, as a second-hand receiver. In fact, I'd, I'd go as far as to say it's probably better than even the Kenwood 5000 and other radios. It's it's probably my second second best, uh, apart from the JRC NRD525, but absolutely superb, very sensitive, um, lovely on shortwave, um, just, yeah, just, just an all-round great radio, really, really lovely buy. But, and there's a caveat here, they do suffer from, um, they have a RAM board inside, basically, the, with a, a battery. Um, what happens is that after the battery goes low, then you lose the programming on the chip. So you have to have that constant supply. In order to change the battery, you need to solder in or make sure that there is power uh, connected to the terminals and then unsolder the battery. So you have to make sure there's continuous power, otherwise you lose the RAM. So what happens is you basically you have to get if you lose the power to the RAM board inside this receiver, you have to go online on eBay and find a programmer. And the programmer itself, I think they cost around about twenty euros when I looked, plus delivery. Uh, if they come from China, you're going to pay taxes too. So basically, there's a guy in Italy, um, Roberto Nardo, who has devised this new RAM board. Um, with a battery, but the battery is it's not so critical. Basic the programming is in is on an EEPROM now. So the battery really is only for the memory. So this will save you and it's well worth getting one of these boards. And it what it also does as well is extends the coverage down below one hundred kilohertz. So I'm gonna install this board. It's very, very simple. It's a plug-in board. Uh, literally just unplug the old board and I'll show you how to do it. It's on the bottom of the radio, so I'll undo the radio and uh, do it. Now, it's a bit contentious. I I, uh, I spoke about this to someone else who had a an Icom R71, and, and they said, what are you worrying about? You know, why are you worrying about this silly thing in the future that the battery may fail? And, uh, well, why not, you know? <laughs> why not have a future-proof radio? Why not have a radio that works and, and is never going to fail? And... Also, most of these batteries are so old these days, and it's going to happen at some point. And by the time you fiddle around paying 20-odd euros for the programmer and then buying a battery and, and fitting it, you might as well just get one of these boards for, like, 45 euros or, and plus postage and be done with it and future-proof your radio and also have that extended frequency coverage. So, yeah, I didn't quite get that train of thought, but there we go. And, um, yeah, it's a, I think it's a great little mod. Um Again, not that expensive if, if you're going to spend this kind of money. And considering a receiver only costs 150 euros, and why shouldn't I do this? I think this is a really, really nice thing to do. So anyway, we're going to undo the bottom of the receiver, and I'll show you where the board is, and uh, we're going to measure my battery. I know this receiver's good, but uh, we're going to measure my battery and, and uh, replace this board anyway. And I'll show you the extended frequency coverage. But I'll show you what the frequency coverage is now, and I'll show you after this. Okay, so at the moment we have 30 megs, and I'll just uh, go down. Oh, Sometimes it jumps to 98.5 kilohertz, sometimes uh, 99, 100. But basically the limit is here at 100. And there we go, we've jumped from 99 to 30.01. It doesn't make any sense sometimes, it does tend to vary a bit, but that's the frequency coverage limitations at the moment. We'll install the RAM board, and uh, I'll show you what the frequency coverage is then. Okay, so this is the bottom cover removed, and basically you just need to undo four screws in this cover, which I've already done. Lift it up, and there you can see the offending old RAM board, and this battery here goes very, very low, and uh, will lose your RAM, basically lose all the programming for the receiver. So this is a board we need to change. So I'll unplug it, plug a new one in, and uh, we'll give this receiver a test. Okay, so let's measure my board, see what my battery is. Okay, 3.22, that's really, really good for the age of the board. But still, I'm happy I've replaced it with this new uh, modification though. 
Okay, so I've installed the board. That took about five minutes. Uh, very, very simple to do. So let's power it up and see where we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, USB. Let's go to AM. Verify it's working. Yep, that's good. Uh, let's go to 30 megahertz. Enter. And let's see our new frequency range now. That's slightly extended. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. It's slightly extended above 30 megahertz now. That's nice. Okay. Nearly 31 megahertz. There we go. Right the way down to 9 kilohertz. So now you can play around with uh, the time clock at rugby and um, things like that, the time clock. So now you've got that little extended coverage. So I hope that helps somebody. I, my advice is really to get these items while you can. These people have been doing this for years and they may give up at any time. Stop, you know, it might not be worth their while doing these mods anymore. So huge thanks to uh, Roberto Nardo in Italy for this uh, board fantastic um really really good it'll future proof the radio now so yeah definitely get go ahead and get these boards it's it's well worth it uh, as these radios get older you won't find these parts around much longer so well worth the upgrade that's it for now take care everybody bye bye